Well, I... Okay, folks, if you want to talk, that's fine, but can you go outside? Yeah, please. Because we're trying to... Go outside, please. You're making too much noise here. Oh, somebody wants to listen to what I say. Um, I'll try to do this quickly. Uh, my name is Mark Desonier. I currently represent the 11th Assembly District, which is the northern part of Contra Costa County. I'm a candidate for the 7th Senatorial District to uh, replace Tom Torlickson, who's termed out, which includes you wonderful people. Uh, before that, I served four terms on the Contra Costa County Board of Supervisors, um, representing Concord, Pleasant Hills, and Walnut Creek. Part of it is a Republican, yeah. Um, are you a former Republican? <laughs> I will admit my original sin. I registered when I was 18. Yeah, I'm a convert. We're the convert. Uh, but I will, I will also mention to you that Hillary Clinton's a former Republican. Pat Brown was a former Republican. Leon Panetta was a former Republican. And I'm a former Republican. So forgive my original sin. Um, in, in addressing that, I am already, I've got the endorsement of the Democratic State Party. Uh, Capital Weekly did a, a review after the first year of last session, and I was considered amongst the most illiberal. I had a 100% voting record. I had a 100% voting record from the Sierra Club and CLCV, from the State Labor Fed. CLCV and the Labor Club, uh, the Sierra Club have both endorsed me. The Central Labor uh, Council has endorsed me. Um, got a 100% rating from CalPERG and from consumer groups. So if I was a Republican, I think I've effectively washed that sin out of my <laughs> I also endorsed by George Miller. That, and I, I like to say, even when I was a Republican, I'm the only Republican that George Miller ever endorsed for political office. I was also on the Concord City Council for a short period of time. Um, so with that, i um, be happy to answer any questions. I think that's about as short as I can talk about myself, which isn't bad for a politician. So I'd love to have your endorsement. I, I'm looking forward to having served uh, Concord in particular for a long time. When I ran to the Assembly District, it was great to start to get to know different communities that I hadn't represented directly, although, of course, on the Board of Supervisors, I got to vote for those communities. And now running for the Senate District, and I don't have an opponent in the Democratic primary. I do have, uh, when we think about a 27-year-old graduate of St. Mary's in the uh, general election, but this seat is, is, is a safe uh, Democratic seat. So I'm in a really good position. I'm very close with leadership, very close with Daryl Steinberg, very close to Karen Bass, the new Speaker of the Assembly. Um, I love my job. Uh, and I admit to being a liberal Democrat. How's that? I even admit that in mixed couples, mixed groups. So and I, I do think that we should be more aggressive. You folks um, have it within this club, but you know I, I think it's time we can call ourselves progressives. But there's nothing wrong with being liberal. And I think there's. I really do believe that there's an opportunity in this country, um, led by places like the Bay Area, where the rest of the country is ready to be more progressive again. And um, I think we should be more aggressive at the Democratic Party at the state level. I had a discussion with Willie Pelote, who's a very infamous Sacramento figure. I say that in, in a, not as a pejorative. He runs AFSME up there. He worked for Martin Luther King in his youth. And we were talking about how we let the governor have a free ride on this budget. And we, should, we should be more aggressive. So I'm hoping we will start being more aggressive and um, fighting for traditional progressive liberal values. So that I will quiet and thank you for the heckling at the beginning so that I could admit my original sin. California is facing a continuing water or lack of water uh, problem the crisis. What is your position on the uh, this plan that keeps re-emerging, it was once defeated as a peripheral canal, and now it seems the water department still wants to build that. I think there's another example we have to be careful the governor. The governor has got, been very good at glibly getting away with saying I'm against something and then working behind the scenes for it. Uh, Senator Parada had a proposal as part of a special session last year to basically solve our water problems without subsidizing very large agricultural interests in the valley. Uh, the governor and the Republicans would not give an inch on that. Uh, we still have a bill that's active that Senator Parada is the author of to create, I think it's $4 billion 
to do things basically to make us more efficient with the system without doing a peripheral canal um, and without doing the very two large storage sites that the Republicans and the governor would like us to do that would cost about $5 billion to build and it would just continue to subsidize traditional agricultural interests in the valley, very large national and multinational corporations that we don't think need those kind of subsidies any longer. We think that the agricultural industry is changing for the better um, and I very strongly agree with uh, Senator Parada. So he wasn't willing to give it all and I think we should support him and us in not giving on that. Okay, uh, Chris? Yeah, I'm Chris Peoples. A lot of you know me and know I'm an AC Transit Director. Um, Mark has never represented a, an area that includes AC Transit, but from his time on the California Resources Board and his time on the Assembly, he's been one of the strongest supporters of our hydrogen fuel cell program. And I enthusiastically endorse him. I thought you were going to bring up Metropolitan Transportation Commission. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. That's too inside baseball. Okay, Terry, and then we'll um, we'll do our vote. Thanks, Terry Stokes. I just have a question about this Brown Brown Moth spray. Could you, could you, could you let us know what what the uh, what your position is on that? Um, I, with Jared Huffman, who is leading the charge, he represents Marin County um, in the assembly. He's the chair of. Uh, not resources, Lonnie's the chair of resources, the other environmental committee that I'm spacing on. Toxics, yes. He's leading the charge basically to slow down, um, that he wants to make sure that both it's effective in terms of stopping the moth, but also protecting public health, and I support him. We should take our time to make sure it's not going to hurt people or no, other people. Sure. Um, use your yellow card, either write Mark Sonier or no endorsement.